Latch circuits make it possible to harvest the net heat gain from sunlight. Without latches, relays would be unstable. Thermostats regulate temperature within a given range and within a given space. There are two types of thermostats, an adjustable thermostat and a differential thermostat. Common adjustable thermostats like household thermostats turn a heating system on or off according to the adjustment of the user. Old thermostats use a bimetallic coil that expands and contracts with temperature. This is their temperature controlled switch. This mechanical latch has been replaced with an electronic latch. Differential controllers are different than adjustable controllers. They use two temperature sensors rather than one. The difference in temperature between the probes is used to control the relay. The relay, in turn, activates a pump or other devices. This is how active heat gain from sunlight is accomplished. The user of a differential controller adjusts the on-off range of the pump, but the difference in temperature triggers the relay rather than a preset temperature. Both adjustable thermostats and differential thermostats use a light circuit to keep pumps on or off within a specified range. Without latches, relays would come on and off randomly and produce something known as chatter. Chatter puts undue stress on relay contacts and decreases their life expectancy. Latch circuits use positive feedback to lock a voltage in place. We'll be using an op-amp to illustrate this concept. So let's take a look at an op-amp. A minus terminal is called the inverting input and the plus terminal is called the non-inverting input. The rails that power the op-amp are illustrated on the sides. R rails are plus 12 volts and zero volts for all the examples. The output voltage is the unmarked terminal with the question mark in the center. Without feedback, op-amps have an infinite gain. In other words, the slightest change in input voltage will cause the output to head toward the positive or negative rail. For our first example, let's place 3 volts on the inverting input and 0 volts on the non-inverting input. What do you think the output voltage would be? If you said zero volts, you are correct. Now, let's place three volts on the plus input and zero volts on the minus input. What would the output voltage be? If you said 12 volts, you have the right idea. But 11 volts would be closer to the truth due to the voltage drops within the op-amp. I think you are getting the idea. But to be sure, tell me what the output would be if the plus and minus inputs are both 3 volts. The answer to this question would be the same whether we have an input resistor or not. What do you think? If you answered, I don't know. You are correct. The output voltage could easily swing from plus 11 volts to 0 volts because there is nothing to hold it in place. This is what happens to an op-amp with no feedback. We'll begin with the relay and pump off and the output of 0 volts. How high should the input voltage be on the input resistor to switch the output voltage to 11 volts? If we placed 3.1 volts on the input resistor, do you think the output would swing high? This is a difficult question to answer without doing some mathematical calculations, and we're only here to explore the latch concept, so I'll give you a break. The input voltage would be about 3.3 volts to switch the output from zero to 11 volts. Let's see if we can understand why. 
the input voltage would have to be 3.3 volts to bring the non-inverting input up to 3.1 volts. Once the output reaches 11 volts, the plus junction of the op-amp climbs to 3.5 volts due to the positive feedback resistor. Without a feedback resistor, the relay would chatter. Positive feedback locks the relay on until the non-inverting input voltage drops below 3 volts. Okay, let's start fresh with an op-amp turned on and a plus 11 volts on the output. The non-inverting input is 3.5 volts and the input is 3.3 volts. What input voltage will it take to drive the output down to 0 volts? Without going through some lengthy calculations, we'll say the input voltage would have to drop below 2.7 volts to drop the non-inverting input to 2.9 volts. Once the output voltage drops to 0, the non-inverting input latches to 2.5 volts and holds the output low until the input reaches 3.3 volts. The voltages given in this example are only approximate, but if they are accurate, our differential controller would have a range of 3.3 volts minus 2.7 volts or 0.6 volts. This would translate to a differential temperature range of 15 degrees Fahrenheit. In the following examples, we'll use thermistors connected in series to generate a differential voltage. It only uses one potentiometer to adjust the differential on and off. A counterclockwise adjustment maximizes the heat harvest, and the clockwise adjustment maximizes power conservation. These are the only two decisions a user needs to make. The best differential setting is usually midway between these two extremes. The pump should never be shut off if overheating becomes a problem. Water is needed to keep the collector cool. In a closed loop system, steam pressure may be relieved with a pressure relief valve. In an open loop system, like a drain back system, pressure is vented through the opening involves the addition of more storage tanks. No whistles and bells are needed for this simple BDC regulator. Its analog design makes it rugged, easy to install, and easy to adjust. It comes with a lifetime guarantee for parts and labor. Go to JC Solar Homes to find out more about this amazing, easy to use, basic differential controller. Uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm adjusting the differential so that it comes on at a very low differential. See it came right up, pump is on, nice and smooth, no chatter. So, take out the papers and the trash, or you don't get no spending cash. You ain't gonna rock and roll no more, yeah don't talk back. Just finish cleaning up your room. Let's see that dust fly with that broom. Get all that garbage out of sight. Oh, you don't go out Friday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't talk back. You just put on your coat and hat. And walk yourself to the laundry mat. Outside. You ain't got time to take a ride. Yeah, yeah. 
Don't talk back. Yaggity yag, yaggity yag. 